What's up, people? My name is Jericho, and I'm back. I'm back from Germany and Gamescom, and before we get into it, I gotta tell you guys that this video is sponsored by Electronic Arts. EA actually flew me out to Gamescom uh, super last minute to get footage of this new map for Battlefield 1, as well as get hands-on with Titanfall 2. So, thank you so much. Obviously, I've never been to Germany. It's always awesome when you get to take trips like that for work. And, uh, I actually got to play about four hours of Battlefield 1 on this map, and the same with Titanfall 2. So, there'll be a Titanfall 2 video, uh, later as well. But let's get down into it, because I've already played about 20 hours in the pre-alpha, or alpha if you want to call it that of Battlefield 1, so I've got a good grasp on the game, and I'm not really going to talk too much about how it feels because I've already done that, I'll be happy to gloss over it, but what I want to talk about is the thing that I like the most, it's having fun, right? You guys aren't here to watch my stellar gameplay, you'll go to level cap for that, right? Um, and he was there, so he's got some crazy footage, but um, uh, Battlefield 1, like I've said, is incredibly fun. I think it's more fun than Battlefield 4. I think it reminds me a lot of Bad Company 2. The fact that everything blows up and there's just fucking... You can be in a building and one minute the building's not there. That makes me excited and it's fun. Every game is a little bit different, right? Your favorite perch might not be there that time, etc, etc. And this map was cool too because the first one in the alpha was, uh, was this like open... Uh, kind of reminded me of like France. I don't know where it was, but like this open field with churches and it had like an open area. Area, but also a town. This was in the middle of the uh, the desert, and um, this had a huge expanse of open area, a little bit of a, a nice little city, but it actually had a railroad, and um, they had sandstorms as their kind of, I guess you could call it, not levolution, but as like the weather effect, and... Um, and, and it was dope. It, I mean, the sandstorm, you'll see it in a minute here, really kind of messed me up. Now, before before I get into the fun stuff of what this map entails, I want to let you know that, by the way, sniping is still definitely, one, my favorite, and two, I think, the best class, especially for a map like this. And you might go, why? Well, there's not a lot of mid-range uh, assault rifles. I mean, that's not like a thing that existed. There's DMRs, right? Uh, check out this snipe, okay? Can I just, can I just take a moment? Homeboy's like out there and and I don't I don't know so I miss and I'm like okay I'm not gonna hit this haha -ha. don't son oh my god that was so long I'm freaking out right now anyways um there's not a lot of mid-range weapons and that makes it difficult to counter anything like a sniper especially on a map like this this map is so open that you're running across a gigantic open desert and you're like well okay I hope I don't die here um, they had special classes on here. I was just shooting a guy who was wearing a basically ballistics vest. He was like a tank uh, with a minigun, which is dope, and they also had a flamethrower. So, all these things are pretty cool. Um, the sniper just does feel very strong, and it's my favorite. The assault, uh, like the, um, assault class with the SMG. I mean, it might work on smaller maps, but definitely not for this one. This one was a little rough. So anyways, let's get down to business. You want to hear about the cool shit, okay? This map had horses. So we'll just like, we'll just kind of leave it at that. It had horses, and not only were they useful for once, because, I don't know, I like, I just felt like being on an unarmed vehicle, or like an unarmored vehicle, like a horse, riding around with their whole body exposed, when there's tanks everywhere, probably not a good idea. But, every time I ran into a horse, I got my shit fucked up. You can decapitate people, you haul ass, you go really fast, and I don't have any horse gameplay. Here's some, uh... Sandstorm stuff. Uh, there's a lot of potential for fun stuff with the horse. You can literally jump off of a uh, off an embankment and land on somebody and decapitate them. You can jump over mines and uh, or, or or shells from tanks. And um, I think that they're they're interesting because it's actually really satisfying to shoot somebody off of a horse and just watch them ragdoll off, kind of like a movie. Um, outside of that, this map wasn't my favorite because it was really big. The, the big, like, Hindenburg in the first alpha map was the, like, the, the strong game-changing streak that you could get. Or not a streak, but the strong game-changing, um, uh, ability. This one has a train with, like, a, a damn turret and, like, and a cannons on it, and it goes up and, up and down this track, and it just ruins your life, so... I think that if every map has one of these big, like, game-changer events, that's gonna be pretty cool, because, I, I mean, you can take it out, you just lay some, lay some mines on the tracks and it'll do some damage, or shoot at it with another tank, but, I mean, I really enjoy it. I think it's kind of a nice thing to have this, like, consistent thing that will fuck you up if you don't work your ass off to get it. So, above and beyond everything, I think that this game, like, Battlefield has always been the game that you kind of think to yourself, okay, they're gonna do some crazy shit, you know, the rendezvous, where you jump out of a Harrier when it's going vertical, you bazooka the guy below you, and then you get back in it, shit like that is only really 
Like, I know this is their tagline, but it's only possible in Battlefield. I mean, they're right, though. There's a lot of things in this game that you simply can't do in other games, not just the scale of the fights, but, like, I mean, the the fact that you can realistically, you can get in one of these, <laughs> you can get one of these, like, old World War I tanks, and you can just, you can just haul ass, hit a bump, and fly on to top. I wish, I saw, I don't know if it was Hova, saw somebody literally just fly on top of the building up here, and they just sat up there with a, a, a tank. I was like, okay, like, that's, that's awesome, I, I guess. Um, and, and I think that I will play a lot of this game. This map, after a couple hours of, of playing against people that are way better than me, all right, this is super embarrassing. Don't make fun of me, okay? It's, it's tough. We didn't have mouse pads, okay? And I've been standing up for four hours at this point, so I'm tired. But, um... We were playing against like level cap and and a bunch of actual uh, battlefield players who were dropping 40 bombs on us So I was getting my shit pushed in and uh, it wasn't exactly the most fun towards the end But we have I mean, I think that the game is pretty well It's pretty I want to say that it's well balanced not in the weapon sense But in the fact that like I feel like I never I feel like you're never really truly out of it because they changed the scoring system where kills don't necessarily or kills don't count for for tickets so you only win by capping points. So that means that if level caps out there or, or like widgety bears out there just just destroying your life in a in a in a in a helicopter or they don't have them now but you get the point you're you're going to be okay. Like I mean he can keep people off objective points but if your team is just objective fiending you're probably going to come out on top and that's what happened. And actually my team ended up winning the game where both like uh, uh like three people on the other team dropped 40 bombs and I was like how is this even possible? But, um, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun, it, it's surprising, because I always have fun with Battlefield games, until I play them more than a couple hours, and then I'm like, w you know, like, it, it's the same old, same old, but it's not this time, there's a lot of different changes, I don't, like, the bullet drop isn't as exaggerated, it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like I'm having to fight against the gravity of the sun when I shoot this, I'm not, like, trying to calculate a parabola as much, uh, I, I feel like there's a lot to do in the game that's not necessarily just run and shoot, which I'm appreciative of. And there's a lot of opportunity to having fun fun times, whether it's bayonet charge only gameplay. I know Speedy was trying to do that. Or uh, or, or Hova was shooting people off of, and oh, that flare right there, that's white boy. He almost hit me with a 360 flare, right? That would have killed me, unbelievable. Dude was trying his ass off. But uh, I mean, flying planes into people or actually being a good pilot, all these things are super rewarding. I wish I was better at it, but I think that's uh, I think that pretty much covers everything. I'm looking forward to the game, which is again something that I didn't think I'd be saying when I when I heard that they were making another Battlefield this year. I was like, great, Battlefield Five. It's it's gonna be the same as Four and Three. Thank God that they returned back to uh, uh, the old school era. I if this is not a good enough proof to any other game dev, maybe Treyarch, that like you should probably return to World War II just for shits and giggles, just once, okay? Just new, show me, show me World War II on new game engines because it's so fucking fun and gorgeous and it's just, yeah, it feels raw, feels raw. God, okay. Well, anyways, now that I put, you know, 24 hours into the game before the game's even in beta and I'm not necessarily tired of it, uh, it's a good sign. I'm excited. Only half the guns are usually uh, unlocked or will unlock for this, so there's still a lot more for me to explore. Hopefully, when the beta does come out, I'll be able to play a lot of that and get a get a good handle on things. So, if you guys are interested in more, obviously, keep an ear out for uh, for Battlefield One stuff. I'll probably be streaming and posting the beta, so keep an eye out on Twitter for that. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And EA, please bring me out to more events, man. Gamescom was dope. It was, Germany is fucking awesome. I got stories and vlogs for you guys, alright? So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all.